Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. So today's video is a super exciting one. It is my after Christmas clean with me. So much chaos. We are going to jump right in. I am starting in my kitchen and then I'm going to be tackling my um, dining room and living room. <laughs> Uh, I know I am not the only one struggling right now. Like my house is completely wrecked and we didn't even like have anybody over for, th for Christmas. It was super small, super intimate. And I just don't know why I, I always think that like, I'm going to keep my house clean or that like, it's not going to be a total mess, but I don't know why I do that to myself, but <laughs> I'm not proud. Okay. Like the house is totally trashed, but we are going to get it cleaned up. I have some great motivation for you. So like I said, I am starting in my kitchen and then I'm going to be moving on into my dining room and living room. I did film this video uh, actually today. So this video is going to go up on December 27th and I filmed this yesterday, December 26th. And I'm sitting here late at night, 8 PM editing this video. So I'm editing it probably just just like 12 hours before you guys are going to see it. I'm staying up all night. I'm going to get this video edited. <laughs> So for right now, I'm going to let some music play. I'm going to be popping back in and out throughout the video. But like I said, for right now, I'm going to let some music play. I hope you guys are motivated. I hope you are inspired. I hope this video tackle. <laughs> I hope this video motivates you to tackle your to-do list. So let's get started. Something Do you regret it? And in all your dreams I could
So while my dishes are soaking in the sink, I'm going to be tackling my dining room. Uh, I'm letting you guys know right now, because I know I will get some comments. My house is not perfect, guys. Like, I am just going through, like, a super quick sweep of the house just to put things back together. So this isn't a deep clean. This isn't a thorough clean. This is just kind of putting everything back where it should be. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to do, like, a quick sweep of the dining room. Like, just wipe down the table just really quick. And then I'm going to be heading back into the kitchen and finishing my dishes. Uh, I talked about it in my last video, but I just wanted to say it again. Uh, you'll notice that one of my drawers in my kitchen is broken. Just totally ignore it. Um, I broke the drawer last week. I didn't do much. I just opened it, but our cabinets are super old and they break apparently just when you open them. So... <laughs> That's like one of my first projects that I'm tackling after the Christmas break, but just ignore that and let's finish these dishes. I step into my mind to seek what's hiding behind my own life. Who we are is not enough. They try to tell me what to say and think But what do these faces know? So I found myself a place to go Try to tell me what to say and think, but what do these faces know? So
So the kitchen is done and I couldn't be more happy. I really, really struggle when my kitchen is a mess. If there's one room in the house that I would like that I always would want clean, it's definitely the kitchen. I really do believe in that whole thing of like the kitchen is like your heart is like the heart of the home. And I just really believe that if like your kitchen is a mess, like your life is a mess. <laughs> So that's usually the how the room in the house that I always choose to tackle first, but wait until you guys see what my living room looks like. Holy guacamole, guys. Oh my god. Let me know how you guys did over Christmas. Like, is your house a complete hot mess? Did you stay on top of it? I'm like if you guys stayed on top of it and your house isn't a mess and you have like small children, like you're an enigma. I don't <laughs> I don't know how got, how moms and dads do it. Like, I just, it happened all so fast. I just, I don't have any excuses. I'm ashamed, you know? <laughs> but I am going to be getting in there. Um, once I get into, like, the main living space, I'm going to be having three piles, like a toy, room, a toy room pile, some toys that have to go into Evelyn's room, and then also a trash pile. But for right now, I'm just going to be like sitting and sorting a lot of things and like keeping like directions of things, putting things back in boxes, that sort of thing. Uh, also, Merry Christmas to me. <laughs> You'll see that there's a plant like to the left of my Christmas tree. Um, and it was just the best Christmas gift ever. I found that it's infested with spider mites. I am not a happy camper. Uh, if you guys have some like natural spider mite um like uh like insecticides that I can make. I see a lot with like vinegar and stuff like that. Definitely let me know if it's house play house plant safe because I'm trying so hard to save this plant, but I'm I just don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. But definitely let me know if you guys have a recipe for that.
So my living room is done and I couldn't be more happy about it. Like I just, I feel like I can breathe now. Um, but I'm going to be wrapping up this video, just folding some laundry. I know that this isn't like after Christmas cleaning related, but I figured I would just include it just because I need to do it. Um, Evie's going to be popping in and out and helping me with folding laundry and like putting laundry away. I do want to let you guys know, because I always get comments that, um, like, why doesn't Evie help you? And why doesn't she pick up after herself? Um, and I just know that in this particular instance, I'm going to get comments because it was all like, you know. It was all her stuff in the living room. But Evie does help me a lot with chores. Um, and, you know, there are some times where I just feel like I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing for, you know, parents to, like, do their kid a solid and, like, clean their room for them or pick up their toys. Like, I just – I don't really feel like that's a huge deal. Evie does help me um, quite a bit, usually, like, with folding laundry or, you know, she has her list of chores that she does every day, like making her bed and, you know, picking up her toys at the end of the day. Um, but I am going to be doing a big playroom declutter at the end. I'm um, sorry. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a big playroom declutter probably in the next couple weeks. And, uh, she's definitely going to be helping me in the playroom. Um, cause I am going to need her help. She's going to have to tell me what she wants to donate and what she wants to keep and stuff like that. Um, I know I don't need to like justify anything to you guys, but I do get, uh, some comments asking like why don't I make Evelyn help me with things and she does help me but at the same time like it's Christmas and I just feel like sometimes like you know like sometimes you just need like a mother's touch or you know a dad's touch whatever a mother's touch on you know like cleaning up and just organizing things and just sometimes it can be too overwhelming for them so uh, that wraps it up guys I love you from the bottom of my heart I hope you guys had an amazing holiday um, whether you celebrated Christmas or any other holiday I hope it was absolutely wonderful. I do not know my schedule for the next couple weeks. I don't know if I'm going to be uploading before the New Year's or not. So if I don't talk to you before then, I hope you guys have an amazing New Year. Uh, I am wishing you all of the health and happiness in 2021. Um, but yeah, I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys are staying safe, but I hope you guys are still having fun. And I will see you in my next video. Sorry for being